From the copper mines of the Congo we have a matrix, not quite sure what the matrix is and sitting on there we have what appears to be some chrysocala or chatokite and then in between we have traces of dioptase, in this case a, a, a rather light green let me just see if we can zoom in, find a patch, there's a, there's a section of the dioptase up there it's a very light green, it's not the intense dark rich green which we are used to from the dioptase. Most likely this is from the uh, Tantara mine. Here's another section, I think let's zoom in over there. Uh, it just, uh, it's a pretty accurate indication of color, maybe a little bit lighter. Very interesting specimen, I imagine under magnification it will be quite exquisite. So, quite a different world. You'll find that these are tiny little diptase crystals. It seems the bigger the crystal, the richer the green. Um, on the lighter crystals, often when I photograph them, on the smaller crystals, it's, it's as almost as if they turn a different different kind of green, whereas with the dark ones, the, the richness comes out quite, quite well. Uh, let me just see if we can... There we go. Look at that little vague over there. I just want to see if we can get some focus on that. Maybe move it away. Look at that. There's tiny little dive test crystals in that vague. Go around. Let's give it one more spin. I'd hold it this way up. Can be displayed on a turntable. Very busy specimen. Chrysocola, perhaps some Shatokite and of course the diaptase, all from the, I suspect in this case, the, uh, the Tantara mine, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo.